everybody. This is Jeannie. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, I am going to be featuring our Good Greek Real Fast Kit. And it is a marvelous, delicious kit where you can make good, wholesome food in 20 minutes or less. So let's get started. First of all, I want to tell you what comes in <clears throat> our Good Greek Real Fast Kit. You will get five recipe cards, and aren't they beautiful with pictures and everything? And you will also get a grocery list that you can take to the grocery with you. And if you purchase all the things that are on your grocery list, you can make these five meals during the week. You can be in and out of the grocery really quickly. So um, it's kind of nice when you get the kits because they come with the recipe cards, which is just a beginning of all the things that you can do with these spices and seasonings. Um, so in the kit, there's four items. The first one is the Greek dressing mix. We have the lemon dilly dip mix. We have the creamy garlic hummus, which I won't be um, demonstrating that for you today, but it's very, very good. And the Savaki seasoning, which I use all the time. I especially like it on just sprinkling on vegetables when um, I'm, I'm steaming them in the microwave. So, because life is short, what do we always do? We start with dessert. Plus, if we do this dessert a little bit ahead of time, it can sit and the flavors can go through it in the refrigerator. So what we're going to have for dessert today is a yummy yogurt dip that you can dip um, slices of apple, bananas, fresh fruit, and whatnot like that. And it's very refreshing as a dessert. So what I have here today is some Greek yogurt and um, you could use any kind of yogurt that you want. And it is in our prep bowl. This is our one cup prep bowl. And when you purchase these, you get four of them and they come with these really nice silicone lids. Let me show you how they, they get right on there and seal it really good. I really like these lids because they're just nice and soft and easy to use. The nice thing also about our prep bowls is they have the um, measurements on the side. So when I needed a half a cup of yogurt, I didn't have to pull anything else out. I could just put it right in the bowl. So what we're going to do with this yogurt today is we're gonna get our summer berry sweet dip mix. And this is wonderful. And in this size of a bowl, I would put about a tablespoon. I'm gonna shake it up real good so that um, all the ingredients are kind of mixed up well. And I'm going to get one tablespoon of sweet dip mix and put it in the yogurt. Now I used our four in one spice spoon, which is awesome um, for many reasons. Um, all you need is this one spoon. On this side, there's the tablespoon. On this side, there's a teaspoon. Flip it over and on the back, there is a fourth and a half a teaspoon. And these will stack in your um, gadget drawer, just like this. They um, don't take up a lot of room. And unlike these, they won't get your drawer all stuck up. So get rid of these. You just need this one um, spice spoon. And it's designed that it will go into all of our jars very easily. So it's easy to measure out our spices and our seasonings. So I'm going to use one of our Prep Pro utensils. And all of our utensils are very well made. They have steel um, in the handles and, and in the whole part of it. And then it's covered with food grade silicone. There's no joints, no seams. So it's just one piece of silicone. So that helps you to be able to sanitize and clean them well. And they are just really, really um, worth it. They actually feel really good in your hand too. Like I love the feel of them. So as you can see, I just mixed up this yogurt. And as it sits, it will even get a little bit more of a pink color as those ingredients 
begin to rehydrate into the um, to the yogurt. And let me let you know what is in this sweet dip mix. It has organic cane sugar, it has raspberries and strawberries and hibiscus, and it is just really nice and yummy. And it's sugar conscious. It doesn't have a great big amount of sugar like some of the pre-prepared yogurts that you buy in the grocery store. When you go to serve this after supper, you could even add some of our whole food toppers to the top. And this is our Tutti Frutti, and it has like raspberries, strawberries, apples, and um, carrots, coconut, um, turmeric. So you could take this and just sprinkle it on top before you serve it. And it makes it really pretty. If you're a chocoholic, you could have sprinkled it with our Cocoa Crunch nutritional topping. And this has chia, organic cocoa nibs, psyllium husk, coconut, organic cane sugar, organic cocoa powder, and cinnamon. So this is really good too. And as you can see, my granddaughters like it because my jar is almost always on the empty side. All right, so we'll put that to the side. That would be a yummy dessert to have with this meal. So going right along, I wanna show you our easy sovaki, which is the main dish for our, our Greek meal today. Um, I have already cut up some chicken into our multi-purpose steamer. That's just to save us a little bit of time because you don't need to watch me cut up chicken. Um, you can use chicken breast. I use ch um, boneless chicken thighs because I tend to like dark meat better. You could use black beans, um, pretty much any kind of protein that you would want to have. It's very customizable. Um, this multi-purpose steamer is probably our number one item that people purchase because once you see what it does, you realize you need one in your kitchen. It's made out of 100% food grade silicone, so there is nothing in here that can hurt you or your family. It um, can be bendable, so if you have something with juices and you need to pour the juices out, you can just do that. Um, this steamer comes with a tray, which I won't be using today, but it's quite handy to separate things that you're putting in the microwave. Um, you can lay bacon on it and cook bacon in the microwave. You can cut potatoes in really thin slices, lay them on here and just put the tray in the microwave and make homemade potato chips. Really, really good. So many different uses. The steamer can cook meat, it can cook vegetables, it can cook popcorn, it can cook grains like rice and quinoa. Um, there's just so many things you can do with it. And some people say, well, I don't know about that microwave cooking. Well, I tell you what, there has been a lot of research and it's beginning to show that microwave cooking is not bad for you. Matter of fact, it's actually pretty good for you. Um, you can cook your items without adding any extra water or oils. So the nutrients and the vitamins and minerals stay in your food. It cooks in, you know, at least half the amount of time, sometimes faster than that. So um, it's just quick and easy. And notice I can do everything in this one container. So it really helps with mess in the kitchen. And the inside of this is really nice and um, shiny and smooth and slick. So this is an easy thing to wash. Even though you can put it in the dishwasher, I tend to save my room in the dishwasher for things that aren't easy to hand wash. Um, this is freezer safe, refrigerator safe, dishwasher safe, microwave safe, and oven safe. You can cook in this in the oven up to 450 degrees. You can even cook cakes and things in this. Um, Multi-purpose steamer, so I highly recommend it. Okay, with our Easy Slovaki, as you see, I have cut up my chicken, and I have already cut up some peppers to save us some time. So I'm gonna throw that in here. And then I am going to use our Slovaki seasoning. And I'm gonna use about a tablespoon and see what that looks like. On all of our jars and packaging, it always has the 
recipe for original recipes on here. Now, you can go on our website and see all kinds of recipes that you can do with our seasonings and our spices. But this one says, if you cook a pound of chicken, pork, or lamb, and two bell peppers, you would add two tablespoons of seasoning, some olive oil, and some lemon juice. So I'm gonna put just a little bit more seasoning in here. I don't think I have that much meat because it's just me and my husband that's gonna eat this. And that's a wonderful thing too. When you can demonstrate Epicure and then you get to eat it when you turn off the, um, the camera. So that's pretty cool. All right, so I have a, um, our little grip and grab tongs and I'm just going to move this around I'm not adding any oil or anything else to this. It's just the meat, the seasoning, and the peppers. And I'm gonna put the lid on. And my microwave is pretty strong, so this could take anywhere from five to seven minutes. So I'm gonna stick it in for about four minutes and check it because I cut up my chicken thighs in small pieces and they're not as thick as chicken breast, so I think it's gonna take a little less time. Isn't that amazing to think you can cook this in four or five minutes? Well, I'm gonna show you. Well, while that's cooking in the microwave, I'm going to show you some homemade tzatziki sauce. So I have my four cup prep bowl. So we have one cup prep bowls, which comes in a set of four and a four cup prep bowl that is um, bought singularly. And our four cup prep bowls also come with these really nice silicone lids. So to make my tzatziki, I am going to use three quarters a cup of Greek yogurt. Now, if your family's larger, you're gonna make more. So you will figure that out and, um, and do that in your own kitchen. This is also a wonderful thing. You can have your children standing here and helping you mix stuff up. It's such a wonderful thing to have families working together in the kitchen and sitting around the table at night and having supper together and talking and just bonding together as families. I really think of anything that this COVID has um, helped us is for our families to get back together again. So this is shredded, um, uh, cucumber and I have already shredded it and then I put it in a paper towel to get all the excess water out of it. If you have older children you can have them doing that kind of prep for you. So I'm going to mix that up in here. Then I am going to add a little bit of our lemon dilly. Probably about maybe not quite a tablespoon. There's directions for tzatziki on the side of this jar, as well as just lemon dilly dip, which you put a cup of um, yogurt or sour cream and a cup of mayonnaise and a couple of tablespoons of this wonderful dip. This is great on fish. Um, you can um, do just the seasoning on top of your fish, or you can put the actual dip or tzatziki on top of your fish. Um, I like to use this in a lot of things. So I'm gonna mix this up so that it has a chance for the flavors to go through. But that's how easy that was to make. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. And that in the microwave is smelling up my kitchen really well. There's just tzatziki. All right, next I would like to show you um, a Greek salad. And so I have already cut up some tomatoes I have a few here that I want to cut up just because I want to show you how wonderful our Prep Pro knife is. This knife is ceramic and it's very sharp. It comes with this sleeve because then that helps it to be safe in your drawer. You don't have to worry about cutting yourself as you, as you grab it out. But ceramic is um, very special in the fact that you do not have to sharpen it and it remains sharp for several years. But I want you to see how fast and easy it is to cut these tomatoes. Like it doesn't even smash them or, you know, make a huge mess. I'm cutting on top of one of our cutting boards. This one is one that is 
rigid. So it won't bend for you, but it's nice and strong. And it has these four um, kind of rubber legs on it. I'm gonna show you that in a second. And let me get this and wipe off some of those juices. So it, um, it's rigid and it has these four legs on it so that when you sit it on the countertop, it won't move. It also has a little bit of a um, texture to it so that your food actually doesn't slip off of it either. So I have my tomatoes in there. I'm gonna cut up some cucumbers to put in there. And I just want you to see how easy it is to cut with this knife. Now you could put some Kalamata olives in this salad, it would be really good. I like to do that, but I'm all out of them today. So, I mean, you can customize everything. You can leave ingredients out if your family doesn't like them. You can add ingredients if your family likes them. If your family likes a certain ingredient and you want to double it, you can do that. It's like just amazing on, on how customizable our products are. I love Epicure. I just love how fresh and easy it is to cook. And I'm going to leave that there for a second because I want to check that chicken. I heard it ding. Now the top of this multi-purpose steamer has one side that has three little vent holes. So you want to kind of lift it away. See all that steam? so that it doesn't like fog up your glasses if you wear them like me. Um, that steam is what cooks it in its own juices and it's really, really yummy. So I'm gonna just kind of um, separate the meat that's kind of on top of each other and check out um, if it's done or not. And I'm seeing a little bit of pink. So I'm gonna put it in for another minute but I would rather do that than to put it in for too long and overcook my meat. So um, I'm gonna stick it in for another minute and I think that will take care of it. And then it can sit in there after that minute because it won't hurt it for it to just sit for a little bit. That oftentimes will help our meat to be um, more juicy and moist. So that meat's gonna be done almost before I finish prepping everything else. That's an amazing thing. Like you can just keep on going with what you've got going on. So um, here is my salad and I wanna show you what kind of dressing I'm gonna put on it. It's going to be the Greek dressing. And I have here our cruette. I absolutely love these cruettes. They also come with a little lid and we have a funnel that we use to help us to not make a mess. And you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But on the cruette, it has measurements. So I put in, um, I have to look again, I think it was a third cup of oil and two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Now I made just a little bit because I have a little bit of salad, but you can make as much as you want. Um, once you begin to use Epicure's fresh dressings, you will not go back. You will not go back to store-bought dressings because these are so good and so fresh and you know exactly what kind of ingredients are in it. Um, our dressings last about a week. I know that's less than store-bought because ours do not have preservatives and artificial colors and all of that kind of stuff in it. Um, but we can make as little or as much as we need. So I have that in there and I'm going to get my Greek dressing and I'm gonna put a tablespoon in here and you're gonna see how wonderful the funnel is for getting those dry ingredients in there. And then next, the hardest part of making the dressing Shake, 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 shake. This is something my granddaughters love to do. They love to shake up the dressing. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? The other thing I want to tell you about these is they're very easy to clean. The 
openings on these are, are quite large. I have bought curettes before and I could not get them cleaned out because the openings were so small. It was hard to get the ingredients in and then it was hard to clean them. These are perfect. I just love these. Have a couple of them because I make all different kinds of dressings. I love salad. So I'm gonna sprinkle this on kind of to my desire. And I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. Oh my goodness, everybody, this looks so good. So fresh and yummy. Let me see if I can show you. Oh my goodness. And it smells so good. There's nothing like fresh fruit. Fresh, <laughs> there's nothing like fresh food. It's just amazing. I do believe I'm gonna add a little bit of feta cheese to my salad. You can do this if you want, you don't have to. And I'll mix that up again. You know, talk, going back and talking about our cutting boards, which are really nice. Um, I want to show you some of the other cutting boards we have because um, I, I have one underneath here, but we have a set of four that bend. So there's two of the large size and two of the small size. So I like to use the dark ones for meat and the purple ones for vegetables. I mean, even though I wash them every time, it's just, I just kind of like that. But the nice thing about these is after you cut up your vegetables, if you need to put them in a soup or something, you can just curve it and dip them right in. So these are nice. So when you purchase these, you get too small and too big in the set, two large ones. Okay, um, you know what, I think, I forgot to put some lemon juice in my tzatziki, which is fine because I don't need a whole lemon in there. And I'm gonna pull out my meat real quick. Check it one more time, but I do believe it's going to be ready this time. Oh my goodness, the juices are so amazing. Okay, so I have half of a lemon here. And I'm gonna use our two-in-one lemon press. Two-in-one because it does have a smaller section for lines when you need a fresh line. So here's my lemon. I'm gonna stick it in with the flesh side down. And I'm gonna squeeze some fresh lemon on my meat and in my tzatziki sauce and maybe even in my salad because there's a little bit left. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. I should show this to you. All cooked in its own juices, no extra oil or water necessary at all. Okay, so this is how we get ready for supper. It's done, it's ready, it smells delicious, everything is fresh. So let me plate it up for you. So I have some pita. Um, you can use anything you want. Um, any kind of bread or no bread if you don't. You can actually make these on some butter lettuce leaves if you like. So I've got these here and I'm going to stir up my tzatziki since I put some lemon juice in there. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. So I take a little bit of tzatziki and spread it on my pita. Then I'm going to put a little bit of meat and peppers on here. Whoops, he slipped out. And so did that one. Boy, making a mess. But some of you who have watched me a while know my dad always said, all the good cooks are messy. <laughs> I love my dad so much. So then I'm going to put a little bit of this Greek salad on top. You can even put a little bit of this on the side of your plate, like um, <clears throat> a little side dish if you wish. But I actually like it on my pita. Oh my goodness. Your family will love you and look how scrumptious. So there you go. 
um, it's pretty much done. I have dinner and a dessert ready just like that. And that's what Epicure can do. It can help make your meal times a lot less stressful. It can give you the satisfaction that you're feeding yourself and your family good whole ingredients. And um, it's just it's just a wonderful thing. Like you come home and you don't have the stress because you know in less than 20 minutes you're gonna be able to put food on your table. You can even have your kids in here helping you. And Epicure's Never Ever List, the one that I showed you at the beginning, is so wonderful because Epicure promises to never have any gluten in anything that they sell. They promise to never have any nuts and everything is prepared and packaged in a nut free facility. There are no artificial colors, no artificial flavors. We are sugar and salt conscious. If we have salt added to our products, there are only two kinds. It's organic cane sugar or organic coconut palm sugar. And both of those are lower on the glycemic index chart, but far less than you'll find in things that you buy in the market. Um, salt conscious, so many of our things are, are little to no salt. So you can be in control and be the boss in your kitchen and add as much salt as you wish to have or not. So um, that's Epicure in a nutshell. And I hope that you will enjoy a Greek meal soon. Bye everybody.